Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and look at this amazing sky that we have. So in this video I want to show you how to install a really cool mod that the lad has uh, just finished working on and published to the Steam Workshop and it brings back pink fluffy clouds. Well not just pink fluffy clouds it's kind of a rework of the way the, the sky system works in in daisy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to um, install this on a local server i'm going to show you how to install it on a remote server but to start off with i just do a kind of a quick uh, demo so this is on my test server on the internet so if we change the time let's change it to like uh 12 o'clock you might get a bit better see how how like fluffy the clouds are like volumetric crowds clouds if I can speak English now if you look carefully when you look up you can still see some of the clouds moving I think I would I did check that earlier but you do still see wispy clouds moving through but you have all these fluffier clouds and it just looks really good doesn't it um let's change the uh, Let's go to 25% overcast. And you can see that. So we get more clouds like that. Let's go over here so we've got a bit of a better view. And then let's go to 50% uh, overcast. See, it's starting to fill up now. But you're still getting that fluffy sort of serious clouds and cumulus clouds effect aren't you and then if we go to the night time give it a couple of seconds there we go look at this <laughs> how cool does that look looks really good doesn't it really really good so lad's done a done a top job with this uh, with this mod definitely worth checking out yeah there you, go. you can see the clouds moving if i put if i put my little um crosshair in the middle you should be able to just about see the clouds moving across so you'll still be able to figure out you know which direction you're in by the movement of the clouds so in order to install this wonderful mod first thing you want to do is fire up um, steam go to the workshop and go to lads lighting overhaul don't worry i will put a link in the description below this video and you want to subscribe to it now there are no dependencies which is brilliant i love mods that don't have dependencies um and then uh, once you've subscribed to it and you open up the daisy launcher it will then download uh lads uh, mod oh, you can't see it here in fact I tell you, if i quit out of here like so and we shut this down here it will probably crash but if we go back to the launcher here we go there we go so i've already subscribed to it so there is lads lighting overhaul i've got just got cf and zombie ever in tools just to allow me to move around um so what we want to do first is i'm going to show how to install it on a local server so if, if you're not quite sure where the mods are kept on your computer if you click on the three dots open folder in windows explorer that will take you to your workshop folder then all you need to do is copy lads lighting overhaul and then plunk it go up plunk it in your daisy server folder where is it there we go then you want to go into here go into the keys copy the key out go up a couple of times go into your keys folder and paste that one in there what i will do is i'll put a um link in the description below this video with my video on how to install a local server if you're wondering how you do this um, and then what you want to do is you want to open up your um, windows uh, batch file that starts your server and you want to add the mod in there so i've done one already down here um, and as you can see in the start line here we have the mod section and if you're not sure about your spelling remember you can always go to the server go to where lads lighting overhaul is left click it copy the whole thing go back to your batch file and then just paste that in and that will make sure that the spelling is correct you'd save that um, 
and then when you start the server it will start with lads lighting overhaul now there are uh, there is a configuration you can do with this mod as well I um, mean that's the same for with a local server and with a remote server um, and that's within the CFG gameplay.json within your particular mission that you're running so for example so if you go into your missions folder in your server uh, go into daisy offline.churnerus plus and then go into CFG gameplay.json if you edit that you'll find that there is near the top there you go world data lighting config now there's two different configs that you can add um, and that they only affect how dark it gets at night here we go this mod comes with two separate configs you will have to configure on a server these changes purely affect the brightness of the night for overcast only clear nights remain the same regardless of what config you go for um, so if you add two to that little section you get dark overcast nights and if you add three you'll get brighter overcast nights now this because this is in the cfg gameplay.json obviously you must have cfg gameplay.json activated in your server dz.config um, so if we go back up here and we go to here i go into my server dz.config we edit this you should see here I've got enable CFG gameplay equals one. If you don't bother with the CFG gameplay file, which I'm pretty most people would, but if you didn't, what you would do is you would do your lighting config here. All right. Um, however, if CFG gameplay.json has been enabled here, anything here gets overridden. Okay, so that's how you install it on a um, local server. If you want to install it on a remote server, very easy. Just got my um, FTP client fired up here so all you do is connect to your server um, on the left hand side you can see I've got the workshop here remember if you're not sure where the workshop is and where to put the address in your FTP if you just go to the daisy launcher do that trick I said where you click on the three dots open folder in Windows Explorer and then it'll open it up and then if you just left click up at the top here that will give you then the address where your workshop folder is you then go back to your ftp program click there and then you can paste that and that'll take you directly there then all we need to do is copy the mod over so lads uh, lighting overhaul so right click upload that would then upload it over to here as you can see i've already got it open up the keys folder in the mod open up the keys folder on your server right click upload that'll upload there to that um, and then what we need to do then is we need to make sure the server starts um, with the correct um, mod in it. So what you want to do, go to your general settings on your server and then scroll down to get your, your initial uh, additional mod section. And then again, we want to add lads lighting overhaul after a semicolon. Again, if you're not quite sure about the spelling, just go to your um, folder left click it right click it copy go to there paste that on top of there save the changes and then if you then restart it that will then start with the um, with the new kind of lighting new um, skybox sort of thing the new lighting um, um, and then if you go to the file browser and then go to Daisy Standalone and go to MP Missions. Then depending on what map your server is running, so if I go to Chernus Plus, for example, and then we go into CFG Gameplay.json, which is that one there. And we can edit this on the web and we scroll down a little bit. We look for the world data. There we go. And so that's again where we could change the lighting config. To, to have those brighter nights or, or darker nights depending on which way you want it uh, what did he have on his bright I think I want brighter overcast nights so I would go to three like that save that restart the server and then we would be good to go and that my friends is how you get I think a much more interesting sky 
to your Daisy server. Unfortunately, this is only PC at the moment. I have to wait until we get mods for console to get it. Um, and uh, much more interesting lighting as well. Um, so well done to Lad. Make sure you go over and uh, like it over on Steam. I'm, I'm sure he would enjoy getting some messages as well. He's, and um, yeah, there we go. So Lad lighting overhaul. Definitely worth checking it out. Nice and easy to install. And obviously these are early days. But Lad has said that you know if he finds like a better skybox and things like that, he will be using them. Okay, that's enough from me. Hope you find the video useful. If you have it liked, want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will of course see you again soon.